Well, here we are. So, I am by far no pinstriper, so power to those folks. The little wheel thingy definitely worked better than my brush work. <laughs> eh, you know, back in the day, nothing was really perfect or straight anyways, so it'll do. Uh, yeah, again, practice passenger side, driver side will be better, I guess, but yeah, whatever. We won't worry about it. It is fine. So, what are we going to do? Oh, I added the flake to the sides here, so that kind of makes the tailgate pop a little more. Anywho, we got our lettering is done. We got our black around everything, so I don't know if that made it better or made everything look wobbly or... Anywho, <laughs> I think today's plan is going to be... Uh, Getting this sucker, getting this cab onto the other chassis. Um, I'm gonna get it on, get her bolted down, get everything bolted down, bolted together. We're gonna touch up all the, the everything that needs to be touched up, so to say. Uh, do have to paint the insert on that grill, so I gotta work on that. I think I'm just gonna go with the silver. We'll try it. I think the black and the white is too much, so I think I'm just gonna go with the silver. I mean, the black and the white works here, but in that grill, ah, it just doesn't have the right look, I think. It depends. I might change it, depending on if there's that, that surround works out, but... Anyways, I think enough babbling. Let's, uh, let's roll this sucker out and see if we can get her stabbed onto uh, the chassis there.
don't mind the way it looks, but I kind of crinkle this here. Uh, and then this side's kind of messed up down here. So I think uh, the only thing to do is uh, we'll have to try again. <laughs> So that'll take a little while, but uh, we'll, we'll go for try number two in a little bit. Well, would you look at that. I had to roll it up so I wouldn't bang the doors into the hoist. <laughs> uh, I still got to bolt down like a lot of my junk on the firewall. I'm still working on my coil. Uh, so I can get that mounted and then I'll put my distributor in and all that stuff. I don't have the cab bolted down yet, but uh, yeah. Looking not bad. I like the grill. I think everybody's right by just blacking out the uh, red because you definitely don't notice it now. So, you guys win. <laughs> but yeah, pretty happy with it so far. I don't know why it seems lower than it was, but I can always lift it up. Should be fine. It's going to get road rash like nobody's business. So, I probably should have gravel guarded the bottom because this is going to get murdered, but. If I don't get high centered, I'm just going to be like dragging this thing in the road some places, but cool. I don't think I'm going to get much further tonight. Uh, like I say, I have some stuff snugged up in the firewall, but not really every, not everything. I still got to deal with this whole carburetor thing, but I did get my gaskets for the tunnel ram. I got some gaskets for the carburetors. I think the carburetors are probably fine. I just need to replace gaskets. That's all. And then uh, we got to get the steering in and cab bolted down the box is bolted down still got to spray the latches and the taillight housing brackets that i made but uh yeah not bad my uh, grubby hands don't work well with uh the paint job that i put on there but hey it'll work. it'll all it'll all even out once it all gets a an equal dirty and from your profile, my lines look not that bad, but yeah, they're pretty crappy. I guess I could have used vinyl. I could have done a vinyl strip, but ah, that doesn't look cool. A screwed up line on there, at least I can say I did it. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, I think that's as far as I'm getting tonight. I wouldn't say, I feel like I didn't get very far, but I don't know, I guess I got a lot done. We got a lot of cleanup to do, but yeah, well, till tomorrow, where we just keep progressing, smashing junk together here.
Alrighty, well I got my cab mounts or body bolted down. I gotta still sandwich this stuff all down. I still have to get into the front one, so I gotta get a bolt into the cab. Just make sure that everything's jiving there. Smash something into there. I have not ordered this e-brake cable that I destroyed. I kinda, what happened is when I lifted the box, I kinda broke it. <laughs> <laughs> because of course I used the hoist, I didn't lift the box off by hand, so you definitely don't tell when you screw things up. I still gotta go around, put cotter pins and everything, so everything's all locked up and good, up under the front. But, uh, yeah, we are just about there. Oh, in case anybody's wondering, there is not a lot, but there is breathing room there. I know some folks were, were concerned about that. Anywho. Uh, yeah, gonna drop it and then I'm gonna go look at bolting down these front sections and then uh, we can come back, tighten up our steering stuff. Tighten up our steering stuff here. Hopefully that is all good. And then uh, we'll move on from there. Have to look at the carburetor stuff, I think. Still gotta put the hardware on in the back here. We gotta get the, the gate hinge and the, whatever you call it, tail light housings. Alrighty, we got our initial fit. We got our hinges back on. We uh, just test fitted the tail lights. We'll have to do a little bit of work to them just because of the license plate light and where the wire is is kind of weird. I think I'm just going to hang the license plate out of the middle anyways, but yeah. Looks pretty good. I have those pretty snug down there, so pretty awesome. I guess we're going to try to figure out something for some mirrors yet. Got to get some outside mirrors. I got, I kept the, the, I like that swan doodad, like this bracket. So let's see if I can make something work with it. Well, we need to put some mirrors on here. So I got some of these. I don't know where I got them. I think Rock Auto maybe. <clears throat> They're just motorcycle mirrors. Complete Chineseium. But uh, cheap. I think they were like, maybe I got them on Amazon. I think they were only like two or three bucks each. But uh, the plan is to just stick them into there and then I can kind of just use them like a normal mirror maybe. <laughs> but I don't know if I can drill or I can tap this. So I think what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to cut this sucker off here. I am just going to boop it through there and zap it with a weld at whatever angle I think makes the most sense. Probably like that so I can get a little more outsy with it. And uh, call it done. Put some ears on for less than 10 bucks. So let's get uh, started.
that is not bad. We'll have to hit them with some paint yet, but hey, we at least got some mirrors, right? I don't know how well I can see out of the other one. You know how it is. It's always the passenger side mirror feller I can't see. Oh, oh it might be okay. That's kind of cool. So anyways, we got our steering and stuff in, but I do notice, oh, let me turn the light on for you folks. I do notice that if you see this thing turn, see how we don't have much slip into there. So uh, I'm gonna have to cut this shaft and extend it. Uh, basically, I'm gonna have to cut it up here somewhere. I'm gonna sleeve it and weld it just so we have lots of meat into this U-joint down here. We don't want anything funky. We don't want it to have the option to be able to uh, not stay connected if it doesn't want to. But yeah, we got our mirrors. Yeah, running out of stuff. I think I'm gonna mock up my wiper. Everybody, well, some folks were asking, like, there's no wiper on the truck. Well, it's only because we only have the single wiper. It's just a single wiper sits over the driver's side. It's, uh, I'm definitely gonna have to cut this thing down, even though it is a short version of it. But right up here, in this hole, is where your wiper goes in. So we'll gather up the bits for that. We will uh, test fit that sucker. Besides, after that, I have to uh, build some filler panels inside. But I still got to do some adjustment with my... Uh, this is sticking out a little fur further than the other side, and the other side's a little too tight. So I have to get these to come out a little bit. So we got to play with those adjustments just to get the window to do whatever it's supposed to do. And then, yeah, we'll have to revisit this and get that rubber seal around there. Right now the window's too tight and I can't get a seal inside, so... We got to do that. And then I have my fittings in my Merc. So, for my heater lines, so I'll have to pull the heater motor out, but... I got some stuff so I can kind of do these as like a 90 or a 45 so I can get them over the valve cover so I can run the heater hoses proper. And then we can plumb it and fill this thing with some antifreeze. Well, it's coming together. We're getting there. I put the dash back in. Uh, we got that. I just threw the gauges in for the hay of it, but I haven't wired anything on the truck yet. Uh, wipers on, so tiny does its thing. I'm not attaching it because I can't remember if they park over here or they park over there. So I don't want it like whipping around doing some weird stuff. When I do hook it up, but I just have it test fit and it is where it's supposed to be kind of thing. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure how, how much further we're going. I kind of messed with my gate, we got that going. I straightened it out a little bit. It had a tweak in it, which was good, but not good. So I kind of stuck a board in one side and kind of banged her until everything straightened out. So now it, it latches in and out good. Uh, I got to figure out some wood for the bed yet. We'll have to figure that part out. And... Yeah, I still got to order my e-brake cable. I think I mentioned that. I'm going to check the shed and see if I actually have a cable in there. Never know. But I guess the next thing to deal with is <clears throat> the column. I don't mind it. The column's okay. It can go in a bit. So I think what I'm going to do is uh, take the column out and 
my plate that I made at the bottom of the steering column, I'm going to break that weld so I can actually slide the column a little further down and uh, should be fine. I think I'm going to order myself like a metal flake, green metal flake steering wheel. So it'll kind of go with the, the theme of everything going on on here, but I have to do a, a little summit order. So I'm trying to walk around and figure out what I still need for this thing. Though it doesn't seem like a lot. I have to figure out, I can't figure out my wheels yet. I don't quite have the paint that I want to use, so I'm not sure. But anywho, we'll uh, start with the steering call. Yeah, probably seen we got this sucker in here. Turns out uh, my heater core decided it didn't want to work anymore. <laughs> Which is like, uh, at least it's near the end of the winter here, so it's not like a crisis. All I got to do is loop the hoses and I can at least run the rear heater in here. But I sure didn't make my life easy when I uh, did this all. So it's dribbling out of there. I think I started taking the uh, glove box apart. Probably pull the radio. Probably that heater vent. I think the whole heater box can just come off. Because, well, I don't like just to have broken junk so I'd like to get that sorted out so I can uh, at least defrost my windows and stuff if it's raining and whatnot versus all the antifreezy look that's on there right now <laughs> but yeah I gotta gotta fix this so I can keep using my truck here boy there was no good way to get that thing out holy took off way more stuff than I needed to no real way to film this, so kind of got it out, made my mess, is what it is. At least now I know I can get it off the firewall. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's our little vent system up there. That's the one from outside that uh, when you flip this, opens up outside in. Anywho, it looks like it's probably not the actual heater core. It's okay, pup. Which is like a huge win. Looks like, uh, it's kind of neat. This is the inside of the box. That is one big heater, Corey. Holy. We kind of got it everywhere, but I've been flipping it upside down doing stuff. Judging by this, it actually just looks like it's probably a bad hose. I still got to take it apart and pull it out. We'll have a good look, but I think we might be lucky and that's all that's wrong with it. Well, I don't really do mail time stuff, but I did have, I believe it's, I uh, hope I don't say your name wrong, but there was a George Fisher had sent me this. I'm not sure what I'm going to use it on, but it's definitely cool. It came off of, uh, it was like a Russian military truck, like a 6x6. Six six. So, I don't know, that's pretty cool. Might be neat on the uh, 56 pickup when I get around to that one. And then, uh, well, I got a traffic viewer for my truck, because I'm definitely going to need that. And then I had a, another feller... Uh, Wes and uh, He's ooh, I gotta check He doesn't have a YouTube, but he does have uh, a Facebook and it's uh, Yeti blacksmithing Anywho, he had sent me a shift knob to which I'm going to uh, probably actually use in my truck there. I Actually had this one. I was gonna put in there, but I think I'm gonna keep it for my uh, my Model A now because my Model A just has a regular black knob, doesn't have the one with the, the V8 on it, so we'll have to make a shifter up for for this sucker. We can throw it in the uh, 37 there. Dude, pretty cool. So, thank you much, folks. Anywho, for now, I do have to pull that steering column out and get that thing rearranged the way I need.
Oh man, that was a lot of work. That, and a lot, of st a lot of stuff didn't work out the way I wanted. But we now have plenty of steering into there. Um, I might still just tack it. I'm gonna put those centers, there's like uh, lock pins. But I might tack it in a few spots just to make sure. I don't like to just trust uh, some bolts that could come out. And then inside we did uh, our steering column. We cut that lower bracket and then uh, moved it uh, up more. And then up here we built a drop bracket. I don't know if you can see that well or not, but it's, uh, we did that. We made a filler for the front, so it just looks pretty. Our gauges are still not mounted. I have not done anything with the wiring yet. I'm thinking that's gonna be next round. Same thing, I gotta find some material so I can actually build my shifter. Um, I have that shift knob, but I don't have any rod for it. And then I'll have to figure out my, my traffic prism. I don't know if anybody's ever seen these, but I don't know if you can actually see it on camera. If you were to look out my window, but you look in the prism, you can actually see my light. See that white there? That's actually my fluorescent light up there. To which if you're sitting in the seat here, there's no way there. it's up there. So that's kind of how these work, but depending where you are will determine how, uh, see if I go about there. So I might end up just screwing this to the dash, but I don't know where I want, because this is magnetic, but there's so much flake on here, it doesn't actually stick that well. So we'll, uh, we'll have to revisit that one after, um, when I have a better idea of where things should be. Still gotta do weather stripping, weather, yeah, the weather strip. I gotta do the wiring. I still gotta do all the gaskety stuff in here. So yeah, we are getting close. Getting close. I think next round I'm gonna bust out the wiring harness. I have to do that, and then uh, I'll have to look at these carburetors so we can actually hopefully get the wiring strung through and be able to actually fire it with the key. Would be pretty nice. But uh, then we'll have to get to our wheels at some point too. And bed floor. Yeah, not a whole lot of stuff left. Some interior things. My alternator bracket, I still have to do that. Anyways, I think that's where I'm going to leave this video for now. Uh, I want to thank you folks for watching. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Later.